Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to expose a microprofile application as AWS Lambda without using the REST API gateway, uh, HTTP API gateway or even the ELB just by using functionality called function URL. For this purpose, um, um, I'm, going, I'm going to clone the um, Quarkus Lambda CDK template and just uh, adjust it to use uh, the function URL. And um, also, I would like to deploy it to my uh, AWS account. So we should see the function here. Okay, let's start it. Um, I would like to call the project FURL and it clones the repository and, um, and the uh, template ships with CDK part and the Lambda part. Um, the Lambda part already comes with the right configuration. So it ships with Quarkus Amazon Lambda HTTP, which um, makes Quarkus understand the V2 format. And this V2 format is the format of the HTTP API gateway. And this is also what the function URL requires. So this will work out of the box. So this is important. And this um, application is just a basic microprofile application with some dependency injection um, and a config property. So, uh, a basic microprofile application. Okay, let's focus on um, the CDK part. So what we have here is um, we have a CDK app and the CDK app uses out of the box the Lambda API gateway st stack and uh, the Quarkus Lambda is a construct. So take a look at the construct. It's just a basic function construct which creates uh, um, an ARM-based function zip on Java 11 which runs on a on a half a CPU and registers Quarkus as the uh, as the handler. Okay, now uh, back to the stack. And uh, instead of using the API um, gateway integration, I would like to integrate the uh, Quarkus Lambda directly. And for that, I can say Quarkus Lambda uh, dot add function. Uh, first, I need my function. This was the construct, and I will ask the construct for the function. So that's the function. And now there is a new method called add function, U add function URL with some options. And um, the options um, are, so I would just have, as always, click the builder, auth type and course. So I can set up the course uh, functionality or use Quarkus course build in functionality and auth type where I can decide between um, between authentication type what was it I can decide between or is auth type function URL auth type um, none which is anonymous and and uh, I am authentication so let's go with the none and then only say now build and then what I get back is the function URL Okay, so this is my function URL, and today we just configure the auth type, which is anonymous. Okay, um, we are basically done. The only thing which needs to happen is to uh, support or to support to output the URL. So let's do this. Uh, create this and the ID. Let's call it function URL output and a value. And then function URL, and I think it's get URL to see the generated DNS name. So that's all. Maybe we just name the function nicer and uh, let's call it function furl. Okay, nice name. So let's build this. And this builds both projects and then deploys the uh, function zip uh, to AWS. And in a minute or two, we should uh, um, get the URL and we can use the URL to invoke the function and see whether it is actually working. So the initial deployment took 73 seconds, so it's um, a little bit longer even than with HTTP API Gateway or very similar. So the HTTP API Gateway usually takes one minute. And this is the generated uh, URI. So um, before we call the URI, 
I would take a look whether it was actually successfully deployed here. And, and it was, so uh, let's see the, um, the logs. And for that, I would like to go to the CloudWatch and yeah, log does not exist because the function was not called. So let's try to call it. And the first call is a cold startup on a half a CPU, usually takes two to three seconds. And uh, now it is warm and is working. So uh, let's take a look here, log groups, and we have the function URL log group, and this is the output and build. We see that uh, the cold start, it doesn't matter, but we see that it's actually pretty fast as well. So thank you for watching. See you at upcoming conferences, workshops, AirHacks Live, remote workshops, or even projects. So thank you for watching and bye.